chat. Yo, I got a funny story that I got to tell you guys. I was at work today. And tell me how. Right? To start off my job today. Oh, God. Somebody donated. Hold on. Hopefully this won't Spectrum doing a little nice today. Spectrum, um, right now, it's like I said, they did update the shit. I don't know what's going to happen. Even the guy, when he was fixing my internet, he said that Spectrum lately has been trying to do, like, an update within the area. They're trying to fix a bunch of shit because I guess a lot of people, not only including me, are complaining about it. But the story time. You Have you guys ever gone to work in the morning and you show up before the store opens or like an hour before the store opens just to prepper? I mean, that's a prepper. Just to prepare the store for opening? Tell me how, right? There was like 20 minutes left until the store opens and I went to my manager and I wanted a coffee. So I was like, hey, can I go and just grab a quick coffee? Because the Dunkin' was literally like across the street i'm like i'm just gonna go across the street grab a duncan and come back she was like you know if you go across the street and grab the duncan that's gonna that's gonna be basically you are taking your 15 minute break of the day my face was like we ain't even open yet nobody's here and now you're telling me because i'm gonna go get a coffee that it's considered as my 15 minute break so okay so so that's how the day starts i was like you know what let me not even fight with this bitch like, in my head, I was like, you say you still buying donuts? I don't buy donuts. I only buy uh, cold brews, cold brew coffees with no sugar. Um, you say you even clock in? Yeah, I clocked in. But, I mean, the store wasn't opening for, like, another 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. And I was basically sitting there not doing nothing, just waiting for the store to open, like, you know? Oh, I made it. Okay. Okay, use that as stun though. Um, so now here's the funny story that happened. I'm in, like, obviously you guys know I work retail. A customer was asking for a size 13 shoe, right? I brought them the size 13 shoe. The embarrassment that came down upon me when I brought him the shoe, right? So, so the customer showed up. He's like, yo, I need a size 13 in this shoe. Some people just have big feet. It is what it is. I brought him the size 13 shoe. Motherfucker opens up the shoe. And you know like how sometimes when you get a brand new shoe, sometimes it has some like uh, of the paper stuffing just so, just because the shoe has to have that shape. So you got to just put your hand inside the shoe to take out the paper so then you can put your shoe in. Motherfucker puts his hand inside the shoe. Pulls out a giant red panty. A used giant red panty. In front of me. So he pulls it out and I'm looking at him and I'm like, thank God I had a face mask. Because my facial expression, I was like. <coughs> so I was like, sir, there is no way you just pulled that out of this shoe. And he's like. I'm not joking. I just found this in the shoe. And he took it out. He went like this. And I'm looking at him. And I'm like. And he kept digging inside. And then there was a face mask in there. And I even told him. I'm like, sir, are, are you sure you're not doing a magic trick right now? Because I'm embarrassed out my ass if you actually just pulled a panty out of this damn shoe box. And he was like, yo, I'm not playing. Because he was Dominican too. So he was like, he was he was telling me he was going to DR, but he was like, yo, I'm not playing. I just pulled this shit out. And I was like, yo, my bad. And, and then my manager was there too. And when she saw her face was like, 
Me and her went to the back. Right? So me and the manager went to the back. And she was like, what the fuck? And I'm looking at her and I'm like, I don't fucking know. And then she was like, somebody must have returned the shoe. And they didn't check the shoe. And they left the fucking panty and the fucking shit in there. Someone doing the deed in your job, bruh. Maybe that, but I don't know. So, dude, so that happened. And my manager was so embarrassed with me, we had to give the dude a discount. Like, he didn't even get those shoes. He got, like, a different pair of shoes. But just because that whole scenario went down, we had to give him a discount on the transaction that he was doing. Because my manager was just like, yo, I'm so sorry. Like, he was, like, an extra 50% off and shit. Oh, my God, that shit was embarrassing. You said, nah, your coworkers was clapping? I don't know. You said, Retro, we know that you wear panties. You said, them shoes had AIDS? I even felt so embarrassed that it went to the point that I grabbed a giant tub of hand sanitizer and I went back to the guy and I was like, open your hands. Now that sounds like someone was trying to hide evidence of infidelity. We put weird shit at the hotel. Some guy tried hiding the fact that he was cheating by sitting in someone else's hotel room and pretending it was his cat. Oh, maybe. We don't know. But it was so weird because I even told the guy in the back that I was working with, he was like, what happened? I'm like, yo, there was a panty in the fucking shit. And, and his face was just the same reaction as me. He was like... And that gave me so much anxiety. Like, now whenever I give something to a customer, I look in. Hey, thank you, uh, Stardust Bay, for gifting us up. Oh, I missed one of the... I missed one of them. Oh, no, no. You said if I sniffed it? I was in front of him and my manager. That is so that is so embarrassing. Imagine. What the fuck is this? Give me that. <sighs> Here you go, sir. Like, come on, dude. It's gonna look like it's mine or some shit if I do that. I'm missing something here. Where's the first ball? Facts. Facts. Me yes. Oh no, that guy? No, you said, why was I embarrassed? Because, like, think about it in a scenario where a person's like, yo, I'm looking for something. And I'm like, yo, I got you. And I brought him the shoe with mad confidence. I was like, yo, you looking for a size 13? He'd be like, yeah, yo, I got you right here. If you need anything else, let me know. And I'm standing right next to him while it all happens. So it's like, he like, I bet, thank you. Panty. I'm just there like, what the fuck? How, I, I was speechless. I like, how did this happen? Why me? Where's the... I'm looking for the first orb. Is it down here? Uh, I apologize, dude. Like, a good three or four times. I was like, dude, my bad. I'm like, I didn't know that shit was in there. He's like, nah, it's all good. And... Right before he left, I'm like, dude, I'm telling you, it, I, I had nothing to do with it. I did not know that shit was in there. And my manager, like I said, she was kind of pissed off about it, too. She was like, how the fuck did that happen? And I'm just like, I don't know. Because you, you guys know I'm short. I'm a size 10. <clears throat> Excuse me. I ain't no size 13. 
Tell me how the other day when I was working, a motherfucker walks in looking for a size 15. Number 15. Whose foot is a 15? You say I'm a size 10? Yeah, I'm a size 10. You said I was a size 10 at like 12. Hey, man. Hey, you know what? I'm not even mad that I'm a size 10. I've seen guys like twice as tall as me, fucking six foot five, talking about, can I get a size 8? And I'll be like, you six plus feet with a size 8? Like, what is going on? Like, I don't know. Everyone's feet sizes is different. He said Retro got them Sora feet. Shut your ass up. <laughs> he got them. Give me strength toes. You said I think I'm a 10 and a half to an 11. My best friend is a 16. That bitch can't go shopping nowhere. He got to shop online. Like for everything. Everything. He got to shop online. How do I ground pound? <laughs> the Toon Link feet? Damn. The Toon Link 11s. Nah, don't feel embarrassed. Say that shit with confidence. Because, look, here's the thing. <laughs> yo, it be like that. I'm telling you, I've ran into guys that are taller than me, and they're talking about, yo, I, I need a size 7. I need a size 8. And I'm just there looking at, like, confused as fuck. I'm like, dude, I'm shorter than you. I'm only, like, 5'6". And, and, and I'm a size 10. How the fuck you a 7 and an 8? But then... There's days where like, yo, if you got big feet, you got big feet. You know what they say about big feet. Shit, no one, no, no one's gonna say shit to you. <laughs>